I was working on some lessons for you in Studio 5000, and I got this prompt. And like I always tell you, we don't make mistakes on these lessons. We make learning opportunities. I thought it'd be a good time to talk about the difference between Studio 5000's automatic project backup and Studio 5000's automatic project recovery. First, let's talk about what we're seeing on the screen and how we should go through the prompts that are getting ready to happen. The first thing you're going to get is this fatal application error encountered, and it'll tell you to please wait. So while you're griping, eventually this will come up and tell you, okay, it put some stuff in the fatal error dump log. And I guess if you had this repeatedly happen, you might need to pay attention to it. But I'm going to click OK. And now I get another fatal error. And we're going to click OK, and that's going to kill Studio 5000. So I'm going to start Studio 5000 back up, and then I'm going to open the project that just crashed. And you're going to get three choices. We can recover, we can save as, or we can continue. And it's very important what you do here, because what this means is Studio 5000 crashed, but it does have a project recovery file. Now, this is really important. You're probably more familiar with the back files. And after we get through this prompt, we'll talk about the difference between the back files and this. But if you choose the wrong option here, you will lose your work. So we can recover, and that's going to open up that saved file that we had. We can save as, and that's probably typically your best option, or we can continue and ignore it. If we do this, it will delete that backup. Now, I'm just going to hit the Recover button and click OK. And what this does is it opens up that back copy of the file. Now let's talk about what exactly happens there. What's the difference between the automatic project recovery and automatic project backup? If we go to tools, then options, then we see our enable automatic project recovery and our enable automatic project backup. And the recovery has a save interval. And by default, this is checked and it has a save interval of 10 minutes. And that just means every 10 minutes, it's going to save no matter what. And then we have the automatic project backup and number of backups. Now, what this is going to do is every time we press the save button, it will save our work, but it's also going to save the previous version as a back file. So if I go over here, my problem program was analog through drive.acd. So I'm going to click back over to Studio 5000. I'm going to click OK and I'm gonna hit the save button. And now, in addition to my analog through drive.acd, I also have analog through drive.acd. And then you'll see your computer name, and then, in this case, back.000. And if I hit the save button again, when I go back over, I now have back 000 and back 001. So this was my first save. This is my second save. This is the one right before our current program. And just so we can see what happened, we're going to hit the save one more time. And now we have number two. But watch happens when I hit it the fourth time. When I go back over. It's good. It deletes the zero. And now I'll only have one, two, and three. Now let's talk about what I see my techs do when they come to class. That ends up causing them a lot of grief. Is they see these backs. And they always seem to want to go for the highest number here. But remember, this is still a back file. Our basic program is the analog through drive.acd. Which while we're at it, did you know that you can actually pass analog inputs and outputs through your PowerFlex 525 and use them as expansion I.O.? I've created this playlist right here with it and some other tips.